If you're wondering what that was, this is a little necklace my little cousin made me when I was having a hard time. He's beautiful, but that's just gonna annoy me. Sorry, Toby. <laughs> My name is Lily and welcome back to another video. Today I'm in my car and we all know what goes down when I'm in my car. Either crying hysterically, having a DNM, or one of these chat videos. So today I thought I'd do that big sister girl chat video. I asked you on my Instagram to send me in some questions you would like answered that maybe you're too afraid to ask your mom or your big sister. Maybe some girl tips, some advice. So let's get into the questions. All of these questions will be anonymous just because I feel like some of them aren't G-rated virginity, when should we lose it? To be honest, it depends on the individual. I know I have friends who were ready quite early. I have other friends who still aren't ready. It is completely up to you, but I don't think anyone should ever be pressured into losing it. I think for losing it the first time, it's important to trust that person and feel respected and feel comfortable with that person as it is a very vulnerable thing. What can I do to make me feel better and stop thinking about him? Because all it has been is tears for 24 hours. That makes me so sad. I've been there and I know how that feels to cry over someone. To be honest, you're gonna cry for a while. You're gonna cry for a while. You have to let yourself grieve over that person because it is a form of grief. It's a form of loss. You're, you're losing that person who was a big part of your life, whether it's a friend or, or a partner. It just takes time and it sounds so silly. You just have to get through it. You just have to keep putting one foot in front of the other and eventually it'll hurt less and less each day. But also try to distract yourself. Take more shifts up at work, study a bit more distract yourself with friends it helps you not just lie in bed and cry do you use pads or tampons I'm currently on my period at the moment <laughs> I use both so I use pads when I'm asleep because it's not great to use tampons when you're asleep you can actually get toxic toxic shock syndrome from wearing a tampon for too long sounds really scary but I've never gotten it before and I'm not gonna lie I have definitely worn my fair share of tampons too long. <laughs> I think everyone's different, every vag is different, um, it just depends on your flow, how heavy it is, but um, for me mine's not very heavy so I can go uh, quite a long time with having one in, although you shouldn't have it in for a long time, don't do what I do. Pads and tampons are great. Something else that is really good is Moody Body, this is not sponsored but they are underwear that have built in pads and say you're like just on your last couple of days, it's pretty light, those are really good just for overnight when your flow isn't as heavy and then you can just chuck them in the wash. Um, and that way you're reusing it. It's a lot more eco-friendly than a pad or a tampon that you just throw out. Is it good to always be on good terms with everyone? No. <laughs> if people in your life are bringing negative energy towards you, cut them off. It's not worth it to just be, you know, on good terms with everyone. If you don't get on with everyone, you're not going to get on with everyone. And that is something I found really hard because I'm a people pleaser. If someone doesn't like me, I'm like, shit, I gotta fix that. Why don't they like me? I take it as a personal attack, but really not everyone's gonna like you. You could be like freaking Beyonce. Not everyone likes Beyonce say I know you know what I mean you can't please everyone tips for period cramps heat pack Panadol and Ponstan <laughs> Ponstan is just like these little pills and they're like white and blue it's basically a Panadol but for period cramps relationship advice one quote I live by you don't want what doesn't want you if someone doesn't want you let them walk out of your life if someone wants you give them the time of day <laughs> when would you recommend dating uh, <laughs> never <laughs> it's honestly again up to ev everyone individually I have a friend who started dating her boyfriend when she was 15 and they're still dating and it's great and it's amazing and it's lovely and it's beautiful and it's, oh my god love Ugh, sorry but dating and love and all that mushy gushy stuff look I'd say like primary school uh, absolutely not you're just like oh god I would say like in your last years of high school uh, just kind of enjoy it as it is if something happens like go with it but don't put too much pressure on it and I'd say honestly after high school but if you drink just as much water as alcohol on a night out you won't get a hangover I actually, I don't think I've actually tested this. I'm not gonna lie, I don't drink water when I'm out drinking alcohol. But somehow I just don't really believe that. Can someone comment below? Is that a thing? Why are boys a thing? This question was sent in by a friend of mine. I don't know, but there are some nice ones. Let's not, let's not bag out all of my male demographic. I love you guys, please stay. How to get clear skin? I could not tell you, I, I went on the pill. I never washed it and I still don't so I honestly go on the pill. <laughs> I'm kidding. Consult your healthcare professional but I am on Yasmin. It's a contraceptive pill but it's specialized to help people who have bad acne. Any advice on shaving your kitty cat and shaving rash, acne bumps, things like that? Hi, it's me again just popping in here. I need to tell you more about our Spotify original podcast, G-Thanks. So as many of you, so as many of you would, 
as many of you would know, does that make sense? As many of you would know, me and my sister Georgia have a Spotify original podcast called G Thank. We started this podcast a while ago and it's honestly my baby, my pride and joy. So to my YouTube audience, if you haven't listened to the podcast yet, you are missing out on a lot of fun. We talk about a lot of things that I would never really feel comfortable to freely talk about here on YouTube, such as mental health, feminism, and some really embarrassing high school stories. Alive. Are you getting ready? No. I'm filming. We're going out um, in like half an hour and I'm not ready. <laughs> the podcast is a place where I feel like I can connect with you guys more. As you are able to send in your recorded questions to gthanks at thisisamplify.com and me and George get to hear them and see your beautiful faces. That's right, you get to hear your own, that's right, you get to hear your own voice on our podcast and we get to hear your cute ass messages. If you haven't yet ventured into the realm of podcasts, I will give you a few of my favourites to start you off. One of the episodes I'm really passionate about is the episode with Jean Hinchcliffe. That episode is called G Thanks for Activist. This episode means so much to me as we're able to talk to 16 year old advocate for climate change, Jean Hinchcliffe. Climate change is something I've been so passionate about but unfortunately I don't know a lot of the facts. But my god, Jean knows it all. Another one of my favourites is G Thanks for My Fluffy Friends. This episode probably has to be my favourite just because me and Georgia were really vibing and we're sharing so many of our funny childhood stories about how my fish had three names and how Georgia's frog got lemonade. Yeah, it's a long story. And of course, gee thanks to my friends. We got my best friend Lucy, we got my best friend Lucy on the podcast to talk about all of our childhood memories together. I mean, we've been friends for 14 years. Obviously, it was a good episode. I'm really starting to feel like a podcaster now as well as a YouTuber. And I appreciate every single one of you who take the time to listen to me and George because we put a lot of work into the podcast. But anyway, let's get on with the girl tips. <laughs> I have never actually had an issue with the bumps and things like that. A lot of my friends do. It is totally normal. Something you need to know about down there is that anything, discharge, period blood, different colours, it's all G. It's all normal. Shaving bumps are also really normal. I think something that helps is shaving with the grain. So your hair grows down. This is this is your vagine. So if you're shaving up, you're irritating the skin. So shave with the grain. That way it doesn't hurt. Also, if you're really having trouble with bumps, get Johnson's Baby Oil. Put it on beforehand and shave with the oil and then wash it off. So that's what I used when I first started shaving. If you have really sensitive skin down there, I definitely recommend. It's for babies, but like smooth as baby's bottom. How to get people to like you. Girl, don't. <laughs> people are gonna like you for who you are. You don't have to change yourself to like, how do I make people like me? Do I have to do this? Do I have to do that? No. They're just gonna like you for who you are and don't try to make people like you. They're obviously not the people for you. Advice for getting over rejection. Um, I've been rejected before. I've actually been ghosted. It doesn't feel good because you're like, oh, like I, I kind of was interested in you and now you're just like, see ya, or like you created your expectations with this person and then you get let down, but you also lose these memories that you created. You lose this and you're like, oh, I can't go to the beach now and have that thing. You can still go to the beach. It's not with that person. You know? Were you scared when you first got your period? No. Just because all my friends had had it and I know what to do through them and my mum and my sister were very helpful with it all. I was scared when I first used a tampon. Holy shit, that was hard. I remember my friend was standing outside the toilet room door and being like, okay, just do it on an angle. You can't go straight up. It's got to be like on body hair tips. Think about what works best for you. Like a lot of girls wax. I personally don't just because I can't be bothered to let it grow out that, <laughs> that much because it itches. Um, I shave my armpits and I shave my bikini and my legs, I don't wax. I actually want to do a video on what is the best hair removal method. There's creams, there's sugar wax, there's wax, shaving. I want to know what is the best method. If you cut anywhere down there, it's very painful. So, don't do that. <laughs> Ways to distract yourself when you have really bad anxiety. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Distract yourself. You've got you've got to bang on. When you're anxious, it's very easy to stay in bed and cry and wallow in your own pain and feel bad for yourself. But if you say just go out and get ice cream with a friend, it just gets you out of the house and it gets you distracted. You're talking to your friend, you're not thinking about how anxious you are. Do you take meds on your period? No. <laughs> What? The way the period pill works is that you have three weeks of pills that stop your period. I went on this pill because my period kind of just showed up whenever she wanted and it wasn't exactly great when, you know, you were in the middle of school assembly. And it has three weeks of orange pills to stop your period. They send out a hormone to your body saying, we don't need a period. They basically tell your body that you're pregnant. And then there's one week, so seven days of a white pill. And this pill is literally just a sugar pill. It's got nothing in it, it's, it's sugar. And you just take those and it stops saying to your body it's like oh we're not pregnant so you can have a period now so it stops your body from having a period it regulates your period is bloating normal 
Holy shit, yes. <laughs> I have been so bloated all week because I've been on my period. I get really bloated on my period and I also get bloated like at the end of the day. Everyone does, it's it's normal. I hate how it's not really talked about. Like it is so normal. I literally don't, I hardly fit into these shorts that I'm wearing right now because I'm on my period and I'm bloated. <laughs> what to do if a guy you don't like asks you out? Is it mean to say no? You don't like him. Just say no. Yeah, don't go on a pity date. That's that's just gonna hurt them more. Okay, I've been fearing this, but if you know, does sex hurt? I think it depends on the person. I have a lot of friends who it hurt for them, and then I have a lot of friends who say it doesn't hurt. I know that if you say did gymnastics for a while or you did dancing, it may hurt less because you can do the splits and you're a bit more stretched out, and you also may bleed on your first time. But again, if you did dancing or gymnastics or even horse riding, it's called popping the chair. It's just a small skin lining and when that is penetrated it can bleed But you may have done that through dancing gymnastics horse riding a lot of girls have actually torn that skin before actually doing the deed So it's really nothing to worry about stretch marks Is it usual to have them literally everywhere stretch marks are so normal? I had them on my boobs and on my butt my boobs grew really quickly out of nowhere because I went on the pill And I had them up the top here for ages people had them on their legs on their arms on their tummy It is so normal and it should be normalized a lot more. Tips for feeling like a bad bitch when you're on your period. For me, it's definitely like I get so hungry on my period So I do not feel like a bad bitch. I'm eating like I'm feeding too But honestly, I just have to remind myself I am a bad bitch because my body can make a baby My body can push a literally make a human and push it out and that's why I'm having a period Just remind yourself you are a woman You are a boss ass bitch and you can grow a human inside of you this might be TMI, but how big of a deal is your first time? The, your first time isn't a big deal, in a way, but it also can be. Again, it kind of just depends on the person. I would suggest doing it with someone you feel comfortable with, someone you feel respected by. Never feel uncomfortable, never feel forced into anything. Consent is key and you have to feel comfortable with it. If you don't, then it's not going to be a good time for either of you. But the last question we're doing, someone just said men. <laughs> I also have not cracked the code with that gender thus far, but I will let you know once I do. <laughs> Your opinion on free tampons and pads. I think that there should be a system within schools that provides free tampons and pads because a lot of kids these days in Australia, everywhere in the world, are living in period poverty. They don't have enough money to buy these luxury items as men in big suits and government like to call it. It's a luxury to have your period, so it's a luxury item to have a pad or a tampon. Mr. Morrison, please, I will put the period simulator on you and you tell me how it feels to have cramps and then tell me if it's a luxury item to have your period. Tips for using a tampon for the first time. I'm the only girl in my family and need help. Okay. Do I have a tampon with me at the moment? I always have one jammed in the bottom of my purse. Ah! She's a little bit squid. Oh, don't use tampons that like, like this seal has broken. If the seal is broken and you can see a white bit, do not use it because it's probably got bacteria in it and it will hurt your regime. So, grab this tampon. Don't use the Libra brand. They're shit, okay? Don't know what it is, they won't go in. They're just like dry. Get the, the U ones. I use them religiously. When you're putting it in, don't shove it upward. Shove it slightly diagonal towards your back. So, you vagine, right? Don't up, back a little bit. So push as far as probably your second knuckle. That's, yeah, your second knuckle, okay? That's not a knuckle, that's a joint. Just go to there. <laughs> and once you feel like it's kind of hit a wall, that's about far enough. You'll figure it out, it just takes a while. If you're finding it really hard to put it up there, put a little bit of Vaseline on the top. It just like makes it slippery and easy to get up there. That actually got me through my first year of using tampons. If you feel like the regular size is too big to start off with, you can start off with the minis. They're really, really small though, so you'll have to change them quite regularly, depending on your flow. And without further ado, I think that's it for our girl chat video. I hope I gave you some big sister advice. And if you like more of these videos, maybe next time I can get more into depth about some things. So let me know down below if you liked it and give it a like, because I like these videos. And I hope you do too, because I like talking to you guys. I will see you next Saturday. Bye. <laughs>